We're here at Empower. This is a master event in Toronto, Ontario. I have Bill McCarthy from Fujitsu. We were talking about the refrigerant Fujitsu has chosen to use in their equipment for the A2Ls. We chose R32 at Fujitsu because we've been manufacturing products with it for about 10 years in other countries, and we wanted to introduce a product that was tried and true. So we had to North Americanize it, if you will, but the product, we know how to secure the components, manufacture it, have the refrigerant capabilities. Have you seen any concerns coming out uh, in the last decade where you've been using it in other countries? When you really look at the flame spread of R410A and overlay R32, the flame spread of R32 is just outside the edges of 410. So what we've done in our ducted products is we have a leak detection center built in right from the factory. And in the manuals, we have minimum line lengths. And you see some installs online, you'll see a big coil of piping behind the condensing unit. It doesn't look the greatest, but you were telling me how you train and a way you can make it look cleaner to get that minimum line length if you got to extend it a bit. So one of the things that we suggest is bringing the line height on the opposing side of the flare fittings just below the top of the unit so that it's a clean sight looking at it. And then you can serpentine the copper on the wall behind it and come to the flare fittings with the units being on average about 30 inches wide or close to three feet. If you make two or three loops on that wall, you can gain close to six to nine feet. And you're not trapping because we're serpentining down the wall, coming to the flare fittings.